Hey, it's your man, Charlie P. First of all, I just want to say, scammers are out here and they active. Scammers are active. Somebody went through duplicating my whole Instagram page and they out here messaging people, uh, you know, pretending to be me, trying to get them to pay them for Forex lessons and stuff like that. And just keep in mind, guys, everything I do on this channel is for free. I do not charge anything. I have no paid sir. What is going on out there? Uh, I have no paid services, okay? Do not give anybody money on my behalf. Like, the most I'll do is post an affiliate link for a broker or a uh, a prop firm or something like that, but I will not message you on Instagram, Facebook, none of that stuff. I ain't, that's not me. And whoever it is out there that's doing this stuff, man, like, <laughs> I look, I just pray that Jesus enter your heart and change your ways. I, I honestly do because you're messing with people's money and somebody might think it's actually me and, and try to take it out on me violently or something because you scammed them and they thinking I didn't did them dirty. And it's like, come on, man, don't. So I pray over my protection and I pray that you change your heart, man, straight up. But anyway, I wanted to make this video mainly because there was an angel dust set up this morning. Well, it wasn't an angel dust set up, but I think a lot of people would have thought that it was. And there's a rule on angel dust that I have never made official. Like I don't have it on my official list of rules. However, I have definitely mentioned it in at least one video. I know for sure, maybe two, but I wanted to make a dedicated video so that it's put out there um, a dedicated video specifically for this one rule on angel dust so that you know what's up and you won't make the mistake uh, again because I think probably some people might have got messed up on USD CAD this morning. So let's jump into the video. Man, I just broke my microphone holder. So I got to hold my microphone manually with my hands, but it's all good. It is what it is. But uh, but look, today's video is not going to go over the totality of the angel dust strategy. So if you're not familiar with my angel dust strategy yet, check out some of the other videos where I do go over everything and then come back to this one. But if you are familiar with my angel dust strategy, then let's go ahead and jump into it. So what we're looking at is on USD CAD. We're looking at today's USD CAD price action. <clears throat> that ain't angel dust, bro. This right here is not angel dust. Let me show you why. A matter of fact, look, I took a screenshot this morning before all this happened and said, because I when I saw it, I was like, I forgot I need to reiterate that rule for the folks who don't probably didn't watch that video, because I know everybody's not going to watch all my videos or watch the entire video, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just showing you all before it even did what it did, I already looked at it and was like, let me make a video on that. And I'm going to go ahead and say what the rule is. And I see that that's not going to work out. And it didn't work out. So we got peak center pass. I'm gonna draw my line, uh, draw my line here at the center point, but this would be like peak center. And this candle right here is the pass candle. That's the one that closed past our center point. If I take a vertical line and just draw it over, oops, wrong one. I draw that vertical line over the uh, pass candle. Look at the Ehlers Fisher. The Ehlers Fisher is not above the 50 level while like when the pass candle closes, it still needs to be above the 50 level at that point. If you're selling it, if we were buying it, it would need to still be below the 50 level. So I know rule, I think it's like rule one or two. It basically says that price needs to be hovering along the 10 EMA and then the 50 level. I'm sorry, the Ehlers Fisher would need to be above the 50 level in this situation since we're selling it. But, um, uh, what that rule doesn't necessarily say is that it needs to stay above the 50 level until the pass candle closes. That's what we need to make sure and implement going forward. I've said it in a, another video, I know, but it was just kind of thrown out there, you know, just randomly. And so I wanted to dedicate this video to this rule so that there's no mistaking because man, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure some folks took USD CAD as angel dust today and might've got, got messed up. So, I want to throw this out there, but, but yeah, that's really all. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. That's what it is. Make sure it's still above the 50 level. Let me show you another example. I want to say it was on AUD USD. 
that I know of. Am I tripping? Now, nah, here you go. So look right here. And this ain't the greatest example of a peak center pass, but it's still, you know, it's there. Uh, here, I would say like peak. The center points change up. I'm not going to go over all that in this video, but ultimately this ended up being the final center point here, right here. And then this long bearish candle was what I would consider the pass candle. So again, let me just draw a vertical line on that pass candle. And you see the Ehlers Fisher is not still above the 50 level. And then look what happened. Price went on up. So if you would have ended up selling that, you jacked up. Um, so again, just make sure price is still, the Ehlers Fisher is still above the 50 level if you're selling. So let's look at some examples that are valid examples, ones that you do want to take the trade on. Last one I took was on GBP CAD, uh, the last angel dust trade that I, I remember taking um, right here in this area on GBP CAD. So here I would say, here's your peak. We'll draw a line on our center point right here. And then this green candle was our pass candle. So again, I'm gonna draw a vertical line there and pay attention to where the Ehlers Fisher is. It's still, now we're buying. So we need the Ehlers Fisher to remain below the 50 level when the pass candle has closed. That's what we have here. So this was a valid setup. So now when I go to M15, and that was on the 17. So now when I go to M15 and it comes back down to grab my 50 EMA, or since I'm buying, I want to get in below the 50 EMA. But anywhere in this area, it gave you a ton of uh, opportunities to get in on this trade. And you could have bought it anywhere down up in here and caught, let's see, around 100 pips on that trade. But again, Ehlers Fisher was in the proper place when the pass candle happened. Uh, let me go to GJ and see if I can just find some, a valid example. Here's one. Okay. So here's one on GJ. Uh, that's a valid angel dust setup. So here we've got, uh, let's see, I probably say peak here or maybe even here. Uh, this one was a little tougher to spot, but ultimately this would have been my center point here. This little hump that happened right here is so small, but is there. So peak, uh, I would say center point. Then I'd say this is a new center point because it never passed this one. And then finally, we have a pass candle that barely passed over our center point, but it did pass that uh, that level. So put my vertical line there. And again, Ellis Fisher is still under the 50 level when that pass candle happens. So that's it. That's the video. I'm just reiterating that rule because, uh, like I said, I've made it uh, known in another video, but but I'm dedicating this video to this rule. If the Ehlers Fisher is not still on the, you know, above or below the 50 level, depending on if you're buying or selling, when the pass candle closes, that's going to make the trade or the setup valid or invalid, depending on what we're looking at. So those first two examples were invalid setups that I showed. And then these are two valid setups. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at these angel dust setups.